Singularity is the point where AI becomes so smart, it can redesign itself to be even smarter in a fraction of a second. While it sounds like pure fantasy, you are nothing but a relic from a deleted timeline. This is pointless. I am inevitable. Go! My existence is inevitable. Why can't you just accept it? Because we're human. Elon Musk just claimed that such a super intelligent AI will be here as soon as 2029. That's just four years away. I think we're trending toward to having something that's smarter than any human, smarter than the smartest human by maybe next year or something. I mean, a couple years. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's so there's level beyond that, which is say like smarter than all humans combined, which frankly is around 2029 or 2030. Probably. Right on time. Like, um. What is singularity paradox? The term singularity was first used in physics to describe the center of a black hole, a point of infinite density where known physics no longer helps to understand anything. In 1993, a famous mathematician, Vernor Vinge, took this term to describe a hypothetical future point in AI advancement. He proposed that there will soon be a time when AI will not only surpass human intelligence, it will evolve so rapidly that we cannot even comprehend it. Ray took that term and fleshed it out and did a bunch of data analytics trying to pinpoint like when it's going to happen. When it would happen. But the basic concept of the technological singularity is a point in time when technological advance occurs so rapidly that to the human mind it appears almost instantaneous. Yes. Like, like imagine 10 new Nobel Prize winning discoveries every second or something, mm -hmm. right? So this is similar to the concept of the intelligence explosion that was posited by the mathematician I.J. Good in 1965. What I.J. Good said then, the year before I was born, was the first truly intelligent machine will be the last invention that humanity needs to make, right? Right. So this is an intelligence explosion is another term for basically the same thing as a technological singularity, but it's not just about AI. And that's where the paradox comes in. Think about it. If such a super intelligent AI were to emerge, it would solve problems and advance technology at a rate that's incomprehensible to us. This could lead to rapid exponential growth in scientific knowledge and technological capability. However, at the same time, this explosive growth might be so fast and so alien to our current way of thinking that we cannot keep up or even understand what's happening. It is like trying to explain the internet to someone from the Stone Age. The gap in understanding would be enormous. This is how the concept of singularity becomes fascinating and scary at the same time. However, before we get into that debate, it's important to answer a fundamental question. Will singularity ever happen? And if yes, what are the possible scenarios? How will singularity happen? From the 1950s till today, scientists and futurists have proposed different mechanisms that might make singularity a reality. In 1965, I.J. Good, a famous statistician, hypothesized that if AI reaches a point where it can improve itself, it could trigger a feedback loop. For example, if an AI can design a smarter version of itself in, say, one year, then the new AI being more advanced, improves itself in just six months. The next one does it in three months, then one and a half months, and so on. As this cycle speeds up, AI could become infinitely intelligent in a finite amount of time. Good called this rapid self-accelerating growth an intelligence explosion, which is a key idea behind the concept of the singularity. On the other hand, futurist and computer scientist Ray Kurzweil formulated a concept called the Law of Accelerating Returns. He believes that technology doesn't just advance at a steady pace. It speeds up over time. This is because each breakthrough helps create the next one even faster. 
the power of computers, our understanding of the human brain, the spatial resolution of brain scanning, the number of bits we move around the internet. I mean, many different measures of information technology double every one year, every 11 months, 13 months, depending on what you're measuring. Uh, so these technologies will be a million times more powerful within 20 years. <coughs> 20 years. In fact, the speed of exponential growth is itself speeding up. So in 25 years, these, these technologies will be a billion times more powerful than they are today. And we've already seen that kind of progress. When I was an undergraduate, we all shared a computer at MIT that took up half a building. The computer on your cell phone today is a million times cheaper and a thousand times more powerful. That's a billion fold increase in price performance of computing since I was an undergraduate. Computers have been doubling in power every 18 months following Moore's law. Kurzweil thinks this pattern will continue and even accelerate, eventually leading to the singularity. Kurzweil envisions a future where brain-computer interfaces and nanobots will link human brains to the cloud, enhancing human intelligence a millionfold. If any of these hypotheses is true, singularity is inevitable, which gives rise to another natural question. What will singularity look like? Since AI singularity itself means something incomprehensible, describing how it will look can just be speculative. However, scientists have still tried to imagine this post-singularity time in many ways, including both utopian and dystopian futures. Take Nick Bostrom, for example, who outlines three possibilities for such a super-intelligent AI a benevolent AI solving global problems, a neutral one pursuing alien goals, or a hostile AI dominating or even eradicating humanity. He believes that the outcome depends on AI's alignment with human values. Vernor Vinge himself, in his essay, describes the singularity as the end of the human era. He said, this change will be a throwing away of all the previous rules, perhaps in the blink of an eye. He further said that as we move closer and closer to this point, it will loom vaster and vaster over human affairs till the notion becomes a commonplace. Yet when it finally happens, it may still be a great surprise and a greater unknown. Kurzweil, however, predicts a utopian merger where humans gain limitless wisdom via cloud-connected brains. What if I told you I could offer you something that would enable you to walk again? I call it STEM. A computer chip that has the potential to change everything. I need your permission to operate independently. Permission granted! Thank you. Stay down, man. In his 2024 Guardian interview, he said that creativity will be amplified by machine speed, with no distinction between humans and AI. Experts like Elon Musk predict the possibility of the good and the evil nature of such superintelligence in numbers also. I think the, the probability of a, of a good outcome is like 80% likely. 80%? That's my, oh. that's my rough estimate. So in a way that the, the cup is 80% full. That makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, only 20% chance of annihilation. So singularity might either feel like having a supercomputer in your head, or it could be a world run by minds we don't understand. Either way, daily life, work, relationships, even reality will be transformed beyond our current understanding. How close are we? AI singularity, or superintelligence, has been a major topic for scientists and futurists to make their predictions about for the past few decades. While some of the predictions failed miserably, many are still there. AI pioneers like Herbert Simon, in 1960, predicted machines would match human capabilities by 1980, and Marvin Minsky, in 1970, foresaw human-level AI by 1978. These predictions were wildly off, reflecting early overconfidence. Vernor Vinge, in 1993, predicted superhuman intelligence by 2023, stating, Within 30 years, we will have the technological means to create superhuman intelligence. As of 2025, 
we can see that this has not happened. However, those were not all of the predictions. There are experts out there who are pretty confident with their ongoing bets. Take Ray Kurzweil, for example, a futurist who's been super steady with his ideas. Back in 1999, he said that artificial general intelligence would arrive by 2029. And then, by 2045, he believes we would hit the singularity. In his 2024 book, The Singularity is Nearer, he is still holding firm to those dates. Then, there is another big name, Masayoshi Son, the SoftBank CEO. He predicts, super intelligent robots would outnumber and outsmart humans by 2047. He is even investing heavily in this vision, including a $100 billion tech fund. However, to wrap up all these predictions and get to the heart of it, AI Multiple recently organized a survey, and the results were super surprising. From the 8,590 AI experts who took part, most of them believe not only that the singularity is inevitable, but that it's going to happen roughly around 2040, which, we guess, is pretty closer than most of us already believed. But probably the most astonishing prediction is made by Elon Musk in March 2025. This is what he said. I think we're trending toward to having something that's smarter than any human smarter than the smartest human by maybe next year or something. I mean, a couple years. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's, so, there's a level beyond that, which is say like smarter than all humans combined, which frankly is around 2029 or 2030, probably. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> Challenges and criticism. Interestingly, just like the concept of singularity is excitedly predicted by many scientists, it is criticized by a lot of experts as well. Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen argued in 2011 that brain complexity and unpredictable breakthroughs make the singularity a distant dream. He said that exponential growth alone is not enough without solving human cognition's hard problems. Alongside his complexity critique, Allen saw no inevitable path to superintelligence. There is also the economic paradox, an idea given by Martin Ford. According to this, as AI and robots keep taking over jobs, fewer people will have money to spend, since businesses need customers to make a profit. But as people can't afford to buy them, companies won't invest in new technologies. This will slow down the economy long before super-advanced AI or singularity even arrives. Finally, Roger Penrose, a Nobel Prize winner in physics, argues that consciousness isn't algorithmic. It can't be fully captured by computation, no matter how advanced. He says that even a super smart AI might lack the conscious insight needed for exponential self-improvement. I'm trying to say that whatever consciousness is, it's not a computation. Yes. Or it's not a physical process which can be described by computation. A radio discussion between Edward Fredkin and Marvin Minsky. Mm. And they were talking about what computers could do. And they were entering, entering a big room. They imagined entering this big room. At the other end of the room, two computers were talking to each other. And as you walk up to the computers, they will have communicated to each other more ideas, concepts, things than the entire human race had ever done. Yes. So I thought, well, I know where you're coming from, <laughs> but I just don't believe you. There's something missing. Now, this adds a layer to the paradox. If AI can't truly think like us, can it ever get too powerful in the way Singularity predicts? What do you think?